Honoring God is one of the most important keys to receiving His favor and to living in a place of favor. You might ask, what exactly does it mean to honor God? Well, God gave mankind ten commandments, not ten suggestions. Christians and Jews alike call these the law. They aren't the entire law, but they form the foundation for the law. The Ten Commandments form the foundation for spiritual law, but they also form the foundation for our civil code of law. I don't want to get into a long discussion here about the law versus grace, but a lot of Christians say we no longer live under the law. Instead, we live under grace, and the law doesn't apply to us any longer. Well, that's partially correct. It's partially correct in that we live under grace and not the law. But to say that the law doesn't apply to us any longer isn't biblically correct. Jesus said in Matthew 5, 17, Don't think that I came to abolish the law or the prophets. I didn't come to abolish, but I came to fulfill. For truly, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or stroke shall pass from the law until all is accomplished. Whoever then annuls one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever keeps and teaches them shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. My friend, we are saved today by the grace of God, not by our keeping of the law, this is a huge subject, and maybe someday we'll go deeper into it. But the point I'm trying to make here is that while we live under grace and while we are saved by grace, the law still applies to our lives today. Otherwise, let me ask you to ask yourself, is it all right to murder today? Is it all right to steal? Of course not. God gave us ten commandments. The Ten Commandments are found in Exodus chapter 20. And one of those commandments is found in verse 12. It says, Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be prolonged in the land which the Lord your God gives you. You know, this verse is plainly saying, If you honor your dad and mom, you're going to live a long life. But if you dishonor them, your life is going to be shortened. You know, if God puts so much importance on honoring our earthly fathers and mothers, it's just logical that it's important we honor our Heavenly Father as well. 